Hello traders, Gary Wagner here just after 12.30 in Honolulu, 6.30 in New York. It is Tuesday, May the 1st, 2018, and this is the Daily Report for gold and silver. Dollar strength has devastated the precious metals markets with all of the precious metals markets trading dramatically lower. An $11 decline in gold, taking it to 1305.60. That is a critical price point that we will discuss in detail when we pull up our technical studies. 17 cent drawdown in silver, 1619. And palladium losing about $20, closing at 939. That did stop us out of our current trade, and we will discuss that as we pull up our palladium charts today. Dow Jones Industrial Average closed fractionally lower, 24,099. And it was all about the dollar today, gaining about seven tenths of a percent of a percent, closing at 7227. Finally, Bitcoin futures did close lower, 9,100 and 9,080 in the CBOE and CME futures exchanges. Dollar strength today has put tremendous pressure. Gold currently down about $14.60 at 1304.60. More importantly, current pricing in gold has put it at an absolutely critical level based upon two technical indicators. The indicators that I am talking about are the 200-day moving average as well as the 50% retracement. The 50% retracement that we're using in terms of its data set is from 1238, which is the lowest point it traded to at the end of last year, just prior to a major rally, up until the yearly high at 1369. 1304 therefore becomes the 50% retracement point and as you can see, that particular price point was the low of this last low that was hit at the beginning of March. We are right there again. The second technical indicator is the 200-day moving average. Of course, the 200-day moving average is used by market technicians to determine in terms of a long-term basis, whether or not a market is currently in a bullish or bearish demeanor. Long-term, short-term, we use the 50-day moving average, which was breached seven trading days ago. Since the beginning of this year, gold has been trading above its 200-day moving average. It began the year at the exact price that it is currently at, roughly 1304, and in fact has broken below and then back above its 50-day moving average on one occasion between March and the beginning of April. However, this is the first occasion in which gold pricing has closed at or below its 200-day moving average this year, and that is absolutely significant. The key right now is whether or not this price point holds, because it is at a critical level. It is a junction between the 50% retracement that matches with previous lows at the beginning of the year and then one in March, as well as the 200-day moving average, the first occurrence of gold trading at this particular price point, and a break below this would be extremely significant, indicating that on a long-term basis, gold has shifted in terms of market sentiment from that of a bullish demeanor to a bearish demeanor. There is another line in the sand, a last line in the sand, so to speak, based on a Fibonacci retracement level, which occurs at 1288. That is the 0.618% retracement. And if gold continues to drop, if in fact it trades to this point, bounce back off, a case can still be made for a bullish momentum in the market in which we had, in essence, the market move from 1240 to 1370, back down to a 61% retracement, and then return to its upward move. However, a break below this price point would signal a return to a long-term bearish demeanor. And traders, I am extremely sorry to have to report to you that we were stopped out of our palladium trade. If you recall from last week, we saw this market after having a dynamic move up 
and then sell off we saw the first signs of potential support in the market as it traded above its long-term 200-day moving average and just below the 50-day moving average at the same time we did place a protective stop below the recent low in the market which came in on this particular candle here which is why we placed our stop at 949 and although we avoided having our stop hit yesterday as the market traded to an intraday low of 52. We certainly did not avoid our stop today as the market barreled and is currently trading at $939 per ounce. And traders, recent dollar strength has absolutely devastated pricing for the precious metals across the board, including silver, which lost one and a third percent today, down about 22 cents at 1618 in terms of the current level this level that was broken which is the 23 percent retracement at 1623 is also significant if you look at recent lows in the market they come in roughly at this area and therefore we are at a critical level of support in silver a break below this particular price point there really isn't any clear technical support until 1565 traders while there's absolutely no doubt that recent dollar strength as seen on this daily chart has put tremendous pressure on the precious metals complex taking all of them to critical levels we can look to see whether or not this current level is a level in which we will see the dollar begin to show some signs of weakness or continue on this upward trajectory if in fact the dollar continues to gain strength we would see gold silver platinum as well as palladium move into a bearish overall market sentiment for the first time this year traders since the beginning of april the dollar went into a dynamic rally and that rally has put tremendous pressure on the precious metals markets today's seven tenths of a percent certainly added to that as i said during the report i am very sorry that i have to report that we were stopped out of our palladium trade however the one thing that we do want to realize is that gold is at a certain point in which it will either be an incredible buying opportunity or signaling this market moving from a bullish to bearish scenario and that is important this has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.